All right, before we kick things off, I just want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Van Powers. charge it so we're gonna do that right now let that charge and then I'll probably just wait to test ride this thing in the morning because it's too hot outside to be doing anything So I recorded this earlier, but I totally lost the footage. So we're gonna do round two. Unplug it, close that back up, make the battery up, hold the power button, three seconds. Bow. All right, so it starts off in neutral. We've got 100%. We put about 23 miles on here, so it's not bad. So this is the Van Powers Urban Glide Ultra. Now this is their highest trim. So they've got the standard pro and the ultra. Now with the ultra, you're obviously getting the highest end specs. The standard and the pro models have the hub style motor. So that's over here on the hub. It doesn't give as much power as the mid drive. This is the first e-bike I've ridden, but honestly, it takes probably 90% of the work out of it. You've got your nine gears right here. You shift through them. You've got a power on button with a mode selector. So the plus or minus obviously switches between the different levels of assist that you want. Typically I just keep it on five because that gives you the most assist. Leaving it on gear like seven with level five gear assist. I mean, this thing takes all the work out of riding a bike. You've got a front LED light with reflector, dual disc brakes, front, or rear front brakes. You've got a suspension on the seat. 
if you can see that. They also have a locking suspension here for the front forks. Now moving on to the back of the bike, we do have a metal rack. So here you could store some extra, you know, belongings that you wanted to bring with you. Strap that down, boom, you're good to go. Now, just taking a look at it, overall, I really like the minimalistic design, right? It's really sleek and I think it's really modern and nice. Also the TFT display, it's really nice and bright. Bluetooth connection, clear trip, you can set a password. But yeah, so you have some settings in here. I haven't messed with it a whole lot. Honestly, you don't really need to. So just run it through everything on the screen. You've got your clock, your battery percentage, your top speed, average speed, and then your pedal assist level. So right now I usually keep it in five, but we can knock that down to neutral where it will have no assist and it's just like riding a traditional bike. I usually leave it on about gear seven because even on seven, you pedal a little bit. The bike gets right up to 20 miles an hour pretty quickly, especially in gear assist five. So let's just, you know, go for a little, little ride here. We're gonna keep it in level five. All right, so how does this thing feel the ride? Basically, when you start pedaling, the motor kicks in. As soon as I stop, boom, the pedal assist quits. So you really don't have a throttle or anything to control it like that. It's basically all on your feet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She gets up and goes, baby. So like I was saying, man, the Urban Glide Ultra, Van Powers, they did their thing with this. It provides power. It takes 90% of the work out of riding. I mean, honestly, I'd say it's definitely worth the money. No complaints. This thing is a breeze to ride. It's if you're, you know, you've got that small commute, this is perfect for you. But yeah, this is the Van Power Urban Glide Ultra, large gunmetal blue. I mean, I have no complaints. With that, again, if you guys have any questions, drop them down below and I'll get back to you. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.